Hey golf fans, welcome into a Players Championship Week edition of Up and Down, where we take a look at what's trending up and what's trending down in the game of golf. Trending up, the record purse up for grabs in Ponte Vedra this week of $20 million. This means the winner will leave TPC Sawgrass with a record-setting payday of $3.6 million. This will be the first winner's check in professional golf history of more than $3 million. That winner's total is up from the $2.7 million that Justin Thomas collected last year and up 60% from the winner's check that went to Rory McIlroy in 2019. For context, the second biggest purse in men's professional golf is the US Open at $12 million. And for further context, the lifetime earnings of Jack Nicholas on the PJ Tour was $5.7 million, which means that this week's winner will leave TPC Sawgrass with more than 60% of the career earnings of the Golden Bear. Also trending up, the race for number one is on, and we're not just referring to teams competing for top seeds in the upcoming March Madness tournaments. Four players could overtake current world number one John Rahm this week, depending on their finish at the Players' Championship. Among those players is world number two Colin Morikawa, who has the most direct path and would overtake Rahm with a win of his own, regardless of Rahm's finish. There's other scenarios where Morikawa could finish as low as tied for fourth and still overtake Rahm, depending on his result. Other players who could overtake world number one include the hottest player on tour, Scotty Scheffler, Patrick Cantlay, and Victor Hovland, who, if you recall, was predicted on this very show to wrap up 2022 as the world's top-ranked player. Rom has been good, but not great, since his win at the U.S. Open, with no victories but seven top tens. And last week, he gave us probably the most relatable moment from a world number one in history as he left a 10-inch tap-in short at Bay Hill. Trending down, the forecast this week for the Players' Championship. As if the Florida swing hadn't been brutal enough, players will contend with strong winds and rain throughout the first few rounds of the event, and their reward during Sunday's final round is a 0% chance of rain. However, they'll be dealing with temperatures as low as 36 degrees and reaching no higher than 54. If you're wondering how aware players may be of the upcoming conditions, the PJ Tour posted a video of Jordan Spieth signing autographs, and a young fan requested his towel, to which Spieth replied, have you seen the forecast this week? So players will be wise to put away the sunscreen and pack the hand warmers this week at TPC Sawgrass, but if they're looking for a light at the end of the tunnel, that $3.6 million payday reference at the beginning of the episode should do the trick. We wrap up this Players' Championship edition with a unique factoid about the event this week. This will mark the first time since 1994 that both Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson are absent from the field at TPC Sawgrass, of course under very different circumstances. Woods was recently announced as the Tour's Player Impact Program winner and inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Mickelson is away from the Tour for an extended period of time following his critical comments and ties to the Saudi Golf League. That's all for this episode of Up and Down. For more episodes, head over to the video section of si.com slash golf. Till next time, I'm your host, Colin McDonald. And remember, it's not about whether you hit the perfect approach. It's about whether you get up and down from there.